Hello my dear students and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video lesson, I will be discussing about our kings. Today I will be talking about this outline. You can see I wrote the chemical formula, the first number, the bond, the degree of saturation, the laboratory preparation, the physical properties, the chemical properties, hybridization and the uses. Now, Today, we are going to talk about our king. Now, first thing first, we need to know that our kings are also called paraffins. Our kings are also called paraffins. Now, the general formula for our king is given to this. The general formula for our king is given to this CN H2N plus 2. This is the general formula for our king. Now, the next is the first member. The first member of this series, which is our cane series. So the first member of our cane is basically called methane. Methane. This is methane. And what is the chemical formula? CH4. Now, methane can also be called marsh gas. Okay? Methane can also be called marsh gas and also called fire damp. Now, it is called marsh gas when it is found in a moldy environment. But it is called fire damp when it is found in a burning vegetation. So basically, methane is the first member of our cave. Now, what is the bond? What is the type of bond found in our cave? What is the type of bond found in our cave? Now, basically, the type of bond you see in our cave is called the sigma bond the sigma bond the sigma bond no pi bond the sigma bond this is the sigma bond now basically you can see i said sigma and also i said pi bond now what is the sigma bond and how is it formed basically sigma bonds are bonds that are formed by the overlap of two s orbitals or they are formed by the overlap of two p orbitals bonded head to head or a sigma bond can also be formed by the overlap of a x and also a p orbital that is for a sigma bond but talking about a pi bond they are formed by the overlap of two p orbital side to side you know the s orbital the s orbital is spherical in shape it is spherical in shape while for your p orbital is dumbbell in shape dumbbell in shape okay the s orbital is spherical while for your p orbital is dumbbell in shape so basically you can see the way you form the sigma bond and also the way you form the pi bond now talking about the degree of, of saturation now our kings, they are all saturated. They are all saturated. Why? Because they contain only single bonds. Our kings contain only single bonds. Now, talking about the laboratory preparation, how do you prepare our king? Basically, the first member, which is called methane. The first member, which is called methane. Now, you prepare methane laboratorically. By reacting soda lime, reacting soda lime with sodium ethanoate, react soda lime with sodium ethanoate. Now you ask, what is soda lime? Soda lime is basically your sodium hydroxide reacting with sodium ethanoate, which is. CH3COONA. This is sodium ethanoate. This is soda lime. And what will be our product? We'll get C, we'll get a carbonate, Na2CO3, and we'll get methane, which is the gas. Okay? Now, this is one way we'll prepare methane laboratorically. Now, talking about the physical properties of methane or alkanes generally. They are colorless, they are odorless. Colorless, odorless. Okay, they have 
they give no action on litmus. Okay, no action on litmus. No action on litmus. That's litmus paper. Now, talk to me about the next property of our cane. They undergo what we call combustion. Combustion reaction. You know, combustion simply reacting a compound with oxygen. You no, know, we have different type of combustion. We have complete and partial combustion reaction. Now, another reaction, okay, that is for the chemical property for alkanes. Alkanes can also undergo a substitution reaction. Substitution. Substitution reaction. For example, uh, chlorination. Chlorination reaction. A very, very popular reaction of alkane. Chlorination. Now, what is the hybridization for alkane? Now, hybridization for alkane is that alkane, they are all SPTV hybridized. 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 And what is the use? Now, alkanes can be used to make one, domestic and industrial fuels. Okay? They can be used to make domestic, domestic and industrial fuels. Alkanes can also be used to make compounds like carbon black. Compounds like chloroform, chloroform, this is chloroform, trichloromethane, trichloromethane, this is the structure. This is chloroform. And chloroform can also be used as an, as an anesthetic. Another compound you can get from alkanes basically is your tetrachloromethane. Tetrachloromethane. Tetrachloromethane is used as a solvent in laundry. Tetrachloromethane is used as a solvent in laundry. So basically, these are the introductory aspects of our kings. I believe now we now understand the concept about our kings. Remember, our kings are also called paraffins, and the type of bond seen in our king is the sigma bond, not the pi bond. Thanks for watching.